sabi ko, naku, walang soli-soli. Mag-isip na lang tayo ng paraan kung hindi pwede sa 4E, 4Ps, ilagay na lang natin sa iba. Issue natin tungkol dyan. Tinanggalan ng 13 billion pesos noong 2023. Pangilunggo, please subscribe and like and share. 13 billion pesos. Now, um, my esteemed colleague, my yung statement niya, it was confirmed by um, the good senator, Amy Marcos, and she also explained the rationale behind the budget cut of 13 billion pesos. I am here today, nandito ako sa harapan ninyo, upang i-explain ang repercussions ng napakalaking budget cut na ito sa ating poorest of the poor and of course, ang ating flagship program na ang layunin ay i-break ang intergenerational cycle of poverty. Makikita rin natin sa Philippine Development Plan na ang target natin, 28% of beneficiaries must be deemed self-sufficient. So, ano nga po ba ang repercussions ng 13 billion budget cut. Base sa aking meeting with the DSWD, as of this week, ang budget, ang estimated and projected budget deficit for the Four Peace Program for the year 2023 is at 9 billion pesos already. Towards the end of the year, matagal nang naghihintay ng kanilang cash grant. Alam naman po natin lahat na paulit-ulit po itong problema na nararanasan ng bawat 4 piece beneficiary throughout the years. As a matter of fact, I would also like to highlight the 2023 budget because it was also during this year, that year Kung bubusisiin niyo po ang General Appropriations Act, nakalagay rin dyan mismo. Ang pondo for 4 piece for the year 2023, nagbayad rin tayo dyan ng unpaid cash grants of 4 piece beneficiaries noong 2017 to 2018. So, if you would imagine, may mga 4 piece beneficiary na naghintay ng limang taon, and then sa 2023, doon lang sila nabayaran. We have to learn from the past and of course for in order for this program to succeed we need sufficient funding and like i said ito yung effects ng budget slash number one made delay ang cash grants ng beneficiaries number two yung case load ng ating mga city and municipal links of the 4 piece program is currently at 1 is to 500 beneficiaries. So imagine mo, yung social worker, well, isang social worker, 500 beneficiaries ang kailangan niyang asikasuhin. And it's even commendable kasi yun yung pinakamababang city municipal link is to beneficiary ratio na na-attain natin sa program. By March, we should expect that the ratio would be 1 is to 800, obviously because of deficiencies in the budget. That is why I would like to take this opportunity today to use this platform because I would like to respectfully appeal to our fellow lawmakers, particularly to our counterparts in the Senate. Because the House, um, the past in the past two years na nakaupo po ako dito sa Kongreso, we have always adopted the recommended budget for the DSWD for Peace Program in the National Expenditure Program. Kung may nagsalita during the budget deliberations or sa plenario tungkol sa for Peace Program, ang panawagan natin sa Kongreso, pataasin ang pondo para sa for Peace upang mabayaran na natin ang mga hindi pa nakakatanggap ng cash grant upang yung mga naka-waitlist sa programa at matagal na naghihintay, hindi na kailangan maghintay ng mas matagal pa. And syempre po, 
ang pag-reassess. Every year, another common theme in the For Peace program is that every year, to remind the Dalis, we always want due process to be followed. And kapag reassess, gumagamit tayo ng SWEDI. So yun yung Social Welfare Development Index. And that would require added expenses. Kasi marami na namang bababa sa field to verify ang situation ng ating mga beneficiaries. So it is very essential na number one, para mag-succeed ang ating programa, kailangan hindi na de-delay ang grants na natatanggap ng bawat beneficiaryo. Number two, kailangan marami tayong personnel on the ground na monitor ang bawat beneficiaryo. And number three, kung kulang ang budget and kung mag anticipate na naman tayo ng isa pang budget deficit, it will take time to augment it. Kasi kung kukunin natin sa unprogrammed funds ang deficiency, hindi naman kontrolado ng DSWD yan. Kasi marami rin naman tayong kailangan pondahan na importante programa rin. So, what I'm basically saying now is that hopefully moving forward in the succeeding budgets, particularly for the four-piece program of the DSWD, I hope that um, sana hindi na po magkaroon ng budget cuts para hindi na maulit-ulit ang ganitong sitwasyon. Dahil ang ating mga four-piece beneficiary na naghihintay sa kanilang conditional grant, syempre, humihingi rin sila ng accountability mula sa government. And of course, magandang ibigay natin sa kanila yon, and magandang mapagsilbihan natin sila ng maayos by providing our department the adequate funding in order for them to carry out their functions to the best of their abilities. Um, gusto ko rin sana hapulin yun, no? Um, according to the good senator, hindi nagamit, 45% lang ng fund yung nagamit. And that is the supposed rationale kung bakit tinanggalan ng 13 billion pesos. Ngayon, ito lang naman po yung issue natin tungkol dyan. Tinanggalan ng 13 billion pesos noong 2023. If we, would, if we were to review the four-piece law, nakalagay po dyan na dapat merong nationalized household targeting system to be renewed every three years. Yan yung tinatawag nating listahanan at dyan natin kinukuha ang mga beneficiary ng four-piece. Ngayon, balikan po natin ang listahanan 3, listahanan 2. Listahanan 3, supposed to commence on the year 2019. Hindi pa po ako member ng Congress during that time, but pero aware po ako na for that particular year, the budget was passed at the end of the first quarter. And normally, natatapos siya bago natapos ang calendar year. So that is for two to event number one. Second event na hindi natin na foresee, 2020, tumama yung pandemic. Now, nag-commence yung listahan ng 3, 2019, dapat by 2022, tapos na siya. So, ano yung explanation kung bakit 45% lang ang nagastos ng DSWD? Yan lang ang nagastos ng DSWD kasi na-exhaust na nila ang pwede nilang gastosin. Sa madaling salita, ang mga nakalistang pangalan sa listahanan 2 and listahanan 1, yan na lang talaga ang pwedeng paggastosan ng DSWD. However, the DSWD has informed both chambers of Congress and of course, since 2019 pa, sinimulan ang listahanan 3 and alam natin lahat, maraming may hirap sa Pilipinas at the end of 2022, doon na complete ang listahan ng three. And at the beginning of the at the beginning of the year, nabuo na ang 4.4 million households, and then jan to miming ang deficit ng 13 billion pesos. So sa madaling salita po, ang dahilan kung bakit I I know um the good senator might have good intentions kasi nga nakita niya mababa ang utilization rate ng agency pero kung pupasisiin natin ng maayos at kakausapin natin ang ahensya at aalamin natin ang dahilan 
kung bakit yan lang ang nagastos. Kasi during that time, yun lang talaga ang pwedeng gastusin ng DSWD. Para maging parte ng four-piece, hindi naman yan automatic na basta may mahirap, pasok agad. Hindi siya ganun kasimple. May batas kasi tayong sinusundan, may batas na sinusundan yung ahensya. At nung lumabas ang listahan ng three, um, nakakalungkot na malaki ang nabawasang budget. Kaya po nag-arise ang ganitong problema.